one of the best fights of the year so far. Uh, but we had Esteban Ribovic versus Daniel Zelhuber. I'll tell you right now, this is my fight of the year for the UFC Ooh, leagues. Man. My fight of the year. They ended it perfectly because this was the one with the Day of the Dead. How fucking perfect was that? It was that graphic. The intro yeah. for this one was so good. Two zombies just going at it. Yeah, it was perfect. This one they fucking nailed. Dude, I love Zell Huber. Rubovich, I like, but I, I wasn't that high on him going into this one, I'll be honest. Um, I was I'm pretty I'm very high on Zell Huber even now. Uh so this one perked my my ears on uh, Esteban because this was a fucking awesome fight. Even even I mean look how cool look at that, that. Looks. that. That looks amazing. Yeah, a little blurry, but for anybody you know. just uh, listening, highly recommend that you hop on YouTube so you can actually see the pictures uh, yeah. that we uh, use throughout the the podcast and we refer to or reference. So uh, that way, it makes it a little more fun. Definitely, definitely. And so going into this fight, before we even talk about the third round, oh yeah, and the red like card, that, hands were, down, so, best costumes of the night. Very good, very so good. good. When they when they said that they, they're like we went to Mexico and we got six Mexican ring card girls for this, I was like, "What is going on? What, like, why? Like, what are you doing?" And then they actually did something cool with it. So, props to yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but you know, the first two rounds of this fight were so fucking good, like so good. I'm so impressed with Esteban's ability to stay composed under fire, toe to toe, like in in a phone booth. When he's not punching, he's rolling. And it was perfect, dude. And you'll see Zell Huber's mixing up shots to the body, to the head. And you see him leaning, dropping the elbow to block a body shot, rolling on the next shot. Like, it was just beautiful. In Like, in the fire, they were just Both trading them. shots, defending well. It was just so good. And, like, the numbers, like, the striking numbers, I had them. I don't now, but I had them. <laughs> but, yeah, that, that was actually going to be one of my points, though, Will, is just both of them in the pocket. Yeah, trading were so good and so crisp. Like as we went into the third round, did it start getting a little sloppier? Of yes, course. they were both rocked, man. They were both exhausted, and they're just throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But that Dude. first round, every time Beyblade style, they just yeah. go in close and just pop, 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 and then they back yeah, up. One of them would rock one, the other one would rock the other. Uh, Dude, Zell Huber though was three seconds away. From Herzog calling the fight. Well, so so first round, I had him back. Uh, Zell Huber, 27. Uh, Esteban, 24. Uh, th- 35% and 36%. Both the, the two of them landed. Very close. Mm. Second round, Zell Huber, 51 strikes at 43%. Esteban, 40 strikes at 44%. Like, that's how close it was going into the, into the third round. Also... 50 strikes the two of them landing 50 strikes damn near in the second round that's insane that's insane uh, dude. yeah th- third round's 43 to 92 but to your point zell huber hurts him drops him uh in the in the third round um and esteban gets up quick though uh and eventually they he said fuck the phone booth i'm hitting this guy as he's fading away with long shots and he started landing this big long right hand and catching Zell Huber where I think he thought he was safe because most of the fight, he was safe there. Uh, Espan wasn't throwing when they were at that distance. And then now he started to, and he was just going right over the shoulder and, and catching him at the end of the punches. And Zell Huber is slipping and fading away, smashing into the fence because he's like stumbling over to it. And Esteban just goes full Dragon Ball Z mode and starts throwing crazy punches. And Zell Huber is just like... I mean, like to your point, Herzog, this might be fight of the year. Herzog, this might be ref of the year in this fight. I thought you did such a good job in this fight because you could have called this fight. You could have called it. And And every time that he said, I need you to move, Zellhuber did just enough for uh, Herzog to not call it off. And then you tell him again, and And then he start moving again. I'm like, oh my God, like, Dude, he's this close. He's so close to just waving his arms and getting in between them cuz yeah. Zell Huber was really hurt, man. Dude, not and not only that, there's a there's a sequence for where for like 10 full seconds he's up against the fence just whoa, 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 whoa. and Esteban stops punching cuz he's like, "Where is he?" and he just keeps moving. And he, like it was crazy. And then after he recovered a little bit, 
he starts uncorking that left hook right straight where Esteban's like, bah, 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 and then left hook right straight and make him take a step back. And then Esteban would come back in and start unloading left hook right straight, make him take a step back. Like, it was crazy, dude. dude to your this point, was when he was up fight. against the cage and he was just bobbing and weaving <laughs> and <laughs> Kribo mixed stop, and he, he was just timing him and he was like, jab. And then he'd yeah. wait for the bobby and weave again. He goes, jab. <laughs> he's like dude, if i start swinging with anything else i'm just gonna miss him so you would just yeah. time it until you got back over and like roll towards his right shoulder and just jab him real quick it was so funny but yeah it was just what he needed because he gave him just enough time exactly. and then after that sequence right there he took it back to the center of, of the octagon yep. and he looked a lot better yeah a bit down his mouthpiece started swinging and banging again um i mean it was just like it was just such a good fight dude such a good fight. I mean, the photos from this fight also are fantastic. Just two dudes cracking each other. Both of their stocks go up, in my opinion. I was already super high on Zell Huber. This showed me a new light to him where he can just go through a dog fight where he's where he's, yep. he can be the nail, right? Uh, and Esteban, to do this to a guy that I think so highly of in Zell Huber, he skyrockets, in my opinion. I'm so excited to see his next fight. So Zell Huber uh, falls to 15-2. and two. Dude, Rebovich really quickly and quietly doing his thing, man, at 14 and 1. Yeah. 14 and 1, dude. Uh, kind of coming in under the radar a little bit, huh? Yeah, and beat somebody who, I mean, he, yeah, he, when he beats Terrence McKinney, that was impressive, right? But um, Terrence McKinney's like a coin flip, right? He's either going to knock you out in the first round or you're going to beat him. And this time, it, I mean, he set him up with that high kick so perfectly. But I was like, I don't know how much stock to put in this, if I'm being honest. This one I put a ton of stock into. This is so impressive to me. Yeah, for sure. Uh, fun fight, to your point, uh, probably fight of the year thus far. It's going to take a lot to uh, to take that number one spot by the end of the year. Yeah, a lot of people will say Max Holloway versus Justin Gaethje still is, is fight of the year. But for me, that was like, it was very good, but it was just a little too one-sided for me uh, yeah. to be fight of the year. It was insane, obviously, because the finish was crazy and all that stuff, but... Um, yeah, I think this probably takes it. Hey, everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.